everyone, welcome to my Law of Attraction personal development channel. Today I'm going to talk about the manifestation process, how that works and what does that actually look like for you, as well as talking about inspired action that Law of Attraction teaches versus pounding the pavement action that we have been taught growing up by friends and family and parents. Um, I'll also be sharing a Law of Attraction story for you as I do in every single video, so stay tuned for that as well. So let's talk about pounding the pavement action. So uh, we've been taught that anything that we want and what we desire in life, that we have to work hard for it, that there's a lot of effort involved and it can take a lot of time and it requires a lot of work. Well, Law of Attraction teaches that anything that you are seeing in your physical reality is by your thoughts and your feelings and your beliefs. So if you don't like what you're seeing in your life, you have to change your thoughts and your feelings and your belief systems in order to change your current reality. So for example, let's take someone who, uh, a woman who would like to uh, be in a long-term relationship or be married. So pounding the pavement action will look for her such as, you know, telling all of her friends, all of her family that, you know, hey, I'm single and I really want to meet someone and if you know of anyone, um, let me know or jo joining uh, singles meetup groups or joining online dating or possibly even paying a matchmaker to um, set her up. Now, none of this is necessarily uh, bad or negative. But what happens is if you aren't doing the vibrational work before you take action, it generally leads you down a dead end road, okay? So there's two things wrong with this type of pounding the pavement action. The first one is uh, you're getting involved in the how. So our job is to believe and feel that we already have what we want and then wait for that inspiration or that nudge to take action. So the first thing is getting involved in the how. The second thing is she's broadcasting a lack uh, belief and a lack feeling by being in all these conversations about her being single and telling everyone that she's single. So she's really broadcasting to the universe that she is single and inviting more of that into her life. So what would that look for someone who takes inspired action? So let's take the same woman and let's say that she's going to use um, visualization for her technique to do the internal work, to do the vibrational work. So what that would look like for her is visualizing every day, maybe morning and evening, you know, what type of relationship she's looking for, what type of gentleman she would like to meet, the characteristics, the traits. And what will happen is she will start feeling good about it. Her belief system will raise. It'll start feeling like it's right around the corner. She'll start, you know, expecting it. It won't seem so far off. And again, she's not taking the pounding the pavement action. She's taking the vibrational action. She's getting into the feeling of already having it now and, you know, acting as if. And that what will happen is maybe she'll get invited to a birthday party, you know, two months, three months down the road. And maybe she's like, oh, you know, I'm tired today. I don't really feel like going. But for some reason, she feels like she should go. For some reason, she feels like it's important to go. And she goes and she meets a, a great gentleman that she's been visualizing. And, and it sounds like this is, this is perfect. Like this is the type of relationship that I've been looking for. Or maybe someone else, um, you know, they might meet a bunch of people and they have great success stories doing online dating, but maybe she never thought that she would do that. And so she tries that and it works out for her. So the path is going to be different for everybody, but the most important step to take is the vibrational work first, that there's nothing to do. There's no action to take unless you've done the vibrational work and then you get that inspired idea to take action. So sometimes it might fall in your lap, other times you'll get an inspired idea to take action. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, there's three ways to support my channel. The first, of course, subscribe, which is free. The second is to share my video. And the third is to become a Patreon. And I will share that link below. And I will see you next time on the next video. Thank you.